Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, and of course, all in between and outside of that spectrum, welcome to Monovlog the third, or Monovlog three, or Monovlog thrice, or Monovlog un, deux, trois, Monovlog trois. My French is very bad. Uh, apologies guys, I know it's been a while since I've made a vlog because m me and all of my brain power contained within my cranium decided to lose my memory card. Mm. Ironically, I forgot where I left my memory card. Mm. <laughs> anyway, but thanks to Argos, I have now got a new memory card, so all is well. But today, guys, I wanted to talk a little bit more about my experience working with the BBC. Let me just tell you um, the amount of time and preparation that goes into filming just one episode of something. Now, what I'm in, I've got a relatively small part in, um, and I've got you know a couple of lines and all that. But I spoke to the costume designer, the makeup designer, the assistant director, the director, the casting director. I spoke to all of these people just for my part which makes you wonder just how much preparation goes into creating just an episode of something. This is an episode of a TV series. Can you imagine the amount of preparation that goes into making a uh, film, a future limb film? But yeah, um, well, I filmed in a, in, a, in a place called Billingsgate Fish Market, which had a very, very, very strong smell. I don't like fish. And this, this smell was, was nuclear. It was a <laughs> It hits you. I had my own section in a trailer and I have a TV there. I had my have a costume lady who was lovely. She helped me um, find my costume. I wore rings. It was amazing. I actually want to buy a, uh, a sovereign ring now just so I can stand there and be a bit like a bit like uh, Joe Leto in Suicide Squad, you know. Hold on, two seconds. I've just realised I've recorded most of this video without my microphone plugged in. Time to plug this in, huh? And now the sound is here. The hills are alive with the sound of me. Those poor hills. I was very lucky because there was a car that picked me up um, and dropped me off as well. So it was just this amazing experience. Wow, the food. Like, um, there was... It was like a, I got there just in time for lunch. They had like whole oh, trays of like food. They had cheese, so much cheese, and like lovely, nice cheese. Like they had a whole cheese tray. I was like, oh, I do love cheese, me. I love cheese. I like cheese a bit too much. Maybe that's why I'm so cheesy. I promise you, I'll do one more bad joke in this video. I've done two so far. I'm allowed to have one more. Oh no, I was filming for about itself for about half an hour. Uh, that's usually how these things go, there's lots of preparation to go into making the shots. Um, the actor I was acting with was a really nice guy, he gave me a few pointers, and the director was very patient with me, I love him for that. And yeah, um, when it eventually comes closer to when this episode comes out, I'll be able to tell you guys what the episode is, what series it's of, you know. But yeah guys, so my experience working with the BBC, and it was amazing. I had a great time. I can't wait to work at BBC more. Baby steps, but in the right direction. So that's amazing. So, Alhamdulillah for that, thank God. Now, I also wanted to talk in this vlog about the importance of internet friends. Now, before I go into this, I understand there is a very big issue around the world with people being groomed, um, very um, toxic um, relationships online. Um, and please, by all means, avoid those, okay? Do not let, don't, obviously don't transfer bank details or anything like that. Um, and obviously, the most important thing is make sure you know who you're talking to. Make sure the person, make sure um, you can see them and that they're speaking to you. There's always a risk, and it might not be who they say they are. But I'm going to flip it. I'm going to flip this now, because I'm going to talk about why I appreciate internet friends so much. And... Why just because somebody you have may not have met them in person doesn't make them any less your friend or a lot of the time they can genuinely care about your well-being and like I'm quite active on Twitter I love using Twitter I've spoken to quite a few people on Twitter I've made some amazing friends there is I've got more I've got more friends on Twitter who I've met through Twitter than I can count 
some of these people live uh, across the world. I've also met some amazing friends who live in the UK and these are some of the most beautiful, amazing, warm people I've ever known in my life. And they genuinely care about my well-being and I genuinely care about theirs. You guys know who you are, okay, and I'm really, really grateful for you. Thank God for sending you guys into my life in the most obscure way, okay? Of all the bad things about the internet, trolls, vicious, vicious people, racism, all of that, the sexism, we're going to talk about um, just how bad these issues are online in another video, I promise. I even met a girlfriend online, and that was amazing. See, I, lots of people I wouldn't have ever met if it wasn't for the internet. So, for all of its downsides, that's one of the good ones. Don't let anybody tell you that internet friends aren't real friends. Okay? Because somebody who cares for you, somebody who asks what's wrong, what's wrong a lot of the time if you're going through stuff you'll tweet something or post something about what you're going through and it's the people that DM saying hey you okay what's going on talk to me and it is genuine a lot of the time sometimes it's fake sometimes it is fake but sometimes it is genuine and that is one of the most beautiful things that there are good people in this world and that's something I have to tell myself a lot I can meet some beautiful people and it really does restore a little bit of faith in humanity. When you find a genuine person, just a genuine friend online, they can make you reevaluate everything you think you know about people. They can be miles away. They can be miles away. They can be on the other side of the world. But love travels. Love travels that distance and decency, human decency travels that distance as well. Because you have no idea just how much impact a small act of kindness does. Just a simple message saying, hey, are you okay? Do you need somebody to talk to? That can mean the entire world to somebody. So I recommend you do that today. Next time you see somebody who's upset, or tweeting, or messaging, or posting about being upset, ask them what's wrong. Okay? Don't assume that they're attention seeking. Because you know what? People deserve attention, especially if you're going through stuff. You deserve attention, okay? So yeah, all in all, appreciate the friends you meet online because you meet people who are going through similar struggles to you. I've met some of the strongest people I've ever known online who have been through and go through battles with themselves, with the world that I would never have known before. So yeah, this is a shout out to all the amazing friends that we meet through the magic of the internet. Shout out to all of you guys, because friendship goes for distance. There is no distance too great for true friends. I love all of you guys, as you know. Um, I think my next video will not be a vlog, it will be... I think I might do a nerd rant, talk a bit about Batman maybe. I might even make a video about the MCM Expo coming up uh, the last weekend of October. If you're in London, please check it out. It's great fun to be there. I will be cosplaying um, as Jason Todd, Red Hood from DC. Um, I'll probably do a video uh, about that next week. So yeah, guys, to all of you guys, to all of you amazing people, I love you all, stay beautiful, stay wonderful, stay you, and I'm going to speak to you all very soon.